Okay, we got Bella. Um, she didn't do quite as well as Brody, but she did. She did. She did really well compared to the way she started out when she first came here. I couldn't get her to sit very good at all. Um, a down to lay down was. Whew, sometimes that's still tough. Sometimes she'll go down for me. Okay, other times really tough. But we're gonna do the same thing. All these exercises, dog will be at your left side. Um, the heel on leash, sit, stay, down, stay, and the recall. Okay, so when we return, we'll come back to the heel on leash. Good girl. Okay, the hand signal to sit. Bring your hand up like that, which she's already doing. Good girl, Bella. And what we're gonna do, she's at your left side, always when you're healing her, through all these exercises, always at your left side. Just take your first step forward, tell her to heal. When you do, uh, she should walk right along with you. Don't keep the leash tight, okay? Let it be loose. When she goes, she does some sniffing. When you're walking her and she does some sniffing and your leash becomes tight, come on, sit. Yeah, just give a pull and release, just a little one, a little quick pull and release and keep walking. The worst thing you can do is stop and try to figure out what's going on because then she's won the little battle and they'll do it all the time. So just keep walking, give a pull and release. If you need to do it again, pull and release and keep walking. Okay, let's see how she does. You ready, Bella? Heel. Good girl, Bella. Come on. Come on, Bella. Good girl. Good girl, honey. Good girl, Bella. Heel. Come on. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. Exercise finished. Praise your dog. Good girl. Okay, this is going to be Bella's sit stay. Hand signal to sit. Hand signal to stay. Walk out to the end of your leash. Reinforce your words. Stay as you leave her. In only three or five seconds. And then come back. Don't release her till you get all the way back up here. Leave her for another second or two. And then release her. I usually say uh, either okay or free or whatever you want to say. That way you're giving her the signal and the command. To, to release from the from the uh, position she's in. Otherwise, they'll start to anticipate. When you start to come back to her, she'll get up and walk away. Or it helps you later on down down the road when you're off leash too. Okay, belly ready. Sit. Stay. 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 Good girl. Stay. Yes. Stay. Good girl. Stay. When you return, just. Turn right back to where you started out. Stay. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good girl, babe. Okay, this is gonna be her recall. Again, hand signal to sit. Stay, you're gonna walk to the end of your leash like you did the sit stay. And you're gonna turn and face her when she's looking at you. Tell her with a nice, happy voice like you want her to come to you. Put your hand to your chest for the hand signal. Tell her to come. She should come to your feet. As long as she comes to you um, is what we want. I notice off leash. She can be very hard to catch if she wants because she's quick and she's hard to catch. So the ultimate thing I'm sure what you're looking for is when you got her off leash, you call her, you want her to come to you. So what we got to do is on leash, make sure that she's coming to you every time on the leash and eventually she'll start listening off leash as well. Okay, belly ready, sit, stay, stay. Bell, come. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good girl. Okay, this is Bella's down stay. This is what she's probably the worst at. I have a feeling it's, I think I talked to you on the phone about it. It's the most submissive state for an animal, for a dog. So she doesn't want to do it. But as I said on the phone, I think it's very important that we do keep, keep trying to teach her because as a pack and in your family, she needs to know she needs to listen to you and you're the, the top of the pack and she's she's actually the dog she has to listen to you. So if she can get to, to go down for you really good and even though it's submissive and she doesn't like it, eventually once she starts doing it, she's getting better for me. But eventually when she does it, she, it'll be a, no problem. And I think her overall behavior will change and get better for you too. So that's why I say sticking with it. Okay, so you got her on a sit gonna face her like this good girl sit and then you're just gonna I kneel beside her whatever way you can get her to do it and put your finger right to the ground and tell her down usually she looks at me she knows what I mean but I usually have to pull her front feet out real slow and try to keep her back and down and go down but let's see how she does good girl good girl down down 
You also don't want to tell her over and over and over. I would only tell her maybe two, three times tops. Yeah. And then make her do it because like a small child, if you tell them 15 times, the next time they'll figure they got 15 times to be told before they have to do it. Down. Come on. Good girl. Once she gets down here, make it a fun, a good place for her. A lot of times she'll roll over and I'll be able to rub her belly and she really likes that. So she's getting better. I, oh boy, at first it was very difficult to get her down, but I just was very, very slow and easy with her. Eventually it'll become a, a fine, you know, she'll do it just fine. Good girl. And when you get up, you gotta be very careful. She doesn't follow you. You gotta tell her to stay, stay. 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 Exercise finished. Good girl. Excellent job, baby. Okay, Bella's done really well. I mean, compared to, I always say with a dog like this, and I, I've yet to do it. Shame on me, but I should do a before and after video because boy, she was, the fact she was really scared of me because she didn't know who I was and it's just the way she is. Yeah, I couldn't get her to sit, lay down, forget it. And she almost act like she would even want to bite. I know you said she nipped at somebody's heels at home or something, but they almost act like she would want to, but she never offered to do, never growled, never tried to bite, but I was never rough with her. I just took my time. And that's why I say, if, if I had another two or three weeks to work with, I think she'd come along. That down would probably be taken care of. She would do it probably fine. But I had to start out so slow with her because she was she was so scared. But she's a very sweet dog, very good girl. She's not stupid at all. It's just that she needs to be dealt with really. And like a child that, that's very scared, you, gotta, you just gotta be very, very slow. Don't expect miracles, you know, real quick. And she'll come along. She's very good, very, very sweet dog. Um, same thing with her going through doorways. I always put her in a sit. As long as there's no distractions, like, you know, loud noises and stuff like that. If she used to surprise her with a loud noise, stopping your feet over there by, on the concrete or a food dish or something like that, or it scares her, she gets, she kind of freaks out a little bit. So, and I, I talked to you on the phone, you were aware of that. But uh, as long as there's no distractions, make her sit before you go to the door, through the door first and then call her to come with the hand signals. And she's doing very well with that too. Off leash, it's a little pre premature for me to say whether she'd be good. Right now, she doesn't look like a prime candidate for it. But later on down the road, she might be. Whereas Brody, I think Brody could. But um, you never know. I've seen it change over time too. So just keep working with her and she's gonna do nothing but get better and better. Like I said, the training sessions, no more than 10 minutes. Go through all this stuff. We're doing it longer because I'm doing a lot of talking. But do go through it. If everything's going good, boom, 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 you go through it. I can be done with this in five minutes on all the exercises, five or 10 minutes. Now, if it takes me, if I'm having a problem, I end that exercise on a good note, go straight to the next one. Um, always try to end the whole training session on a good note and try to do it twice a day. I do. If you can do it once, or, once a day, that's fine. You can do it in your house or outside. It's good to do in both places, actually. So that's what I do. If it's raining, I'll do it inside. I'll, I'll uh, do it in my office or down where there's not too many dogs inside the kennel and um, try to work them that way. But she's done very good. It's a very sweet dog. Thank you.